If you're a cuber, then you've probably seen something that looks similar to this. A lot of us know what it means, but if you don't, then this is the perfect video for you. But before I start this video, I want to remind you to subscribe to help support this channel, as from now on I have a schedule to my videos and streams. So for streams, I'll be streaming every Saturday to Sunday at 5pm to 6.10pm, so make sure to be there. I do stream on this YouTube channel, so you don't have to access two separate channels for videos and streams. So for what goes for videos, I'll be uploading one video a week. This will either be a Tuesday or a Wednesday. The schedule will be in the description box down below, so if you'd ever like to find it in the future, it will be easier. Okay, so on to today's topic. The picture that I showed you before is known as notation in cubing. Well, not the actual picture, the letters, but you know what I mean. I'll go over six different moves you can do in order to scramble the cube. Well, technically there's three for each one, but let me explain. Just one letter on its own means turn that specific face clockwise. The second one is when there is a letter with an apostrophe at the top. This means turn that specific face counterclockwise. And finally, the last one is when there is a letter with a number 2 at the end. This indicates you to turn a specific face twice. Well, how do I know what that specific face is, you're asking? Well, I'm about to answer this question as well. The letters you would see can be one of the following. U, D, R, L, F and B. This stands for up face, down face, right face, left face, front face and back face. The letter is to indicate the first letter of what face it is. So for example, U would stand for up and B would stand for back and so on. Hopefully that cleared some confusion as this is the basics. Think of it like this. If someone told you to get a world record in solving a cube and you didn't even know how to solve it in the first place, then it would basically be impossible. Okay, so for the rest of the video, I'm going to let you watch each notation, one after the other, and I'll be back once they are over. So hopefully you now know what notation is and how to scramble a cube. If you have any further questions regarding this topic or anything else, please ask them down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to help support this channel. Also, for further information and notifications about any upcoming new videos or streams, please join my Discord. There will be a link to join it down below as well as a card at the top of the screen for further information on what the Discord is about. However, if you don't have access to Discord, you can also turn that notifications bell on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.